All right, we finished cutting our gear blank and we have 27 teeth, you can count them. And the next thing is to get it deburred, which I've already gotten deburred. And that's done simply by putting it back in the manual, back in the lathe, and using your tool to remove the burrs. That was done, there's no more burrs, and now we're gonna make a quick check to see that this machine is in, in correct operation. The one thing we don't know for sure is the depth of height. It may need a slight adjustment, and it must be correct. Otherwise, the crest of, these, of, of the gear could possibly interfere with the root of the other gear when it goes into motion. Right now we're going to check. According to the numbers, basically, these are many calculations, but I need to know the diameter of the wire, and it says here wire dimension would be 1.728 divided by the diametral pitch. In this particular case, it's 0.172. We have 2.172 pins or wires, however you want to look at it. The next thing we need to know is what is the measurement over the wires in between the teeth as such. And the calculation for the measurement over wires would be the Van Curen table, in this case at 14 and a half degree pressure angle, 10 diametral pitch for 27 teeth, comes out to 2.9388 is what I'm looking for for this measurement. And our measurement's going to go from the diameter of this pin to the diameter of this pin. As such. Thank you. We measure over the pins, and we're coming up with a number of 2.33. Okay, and 38 is what we're looking for. We're 5 thousandths low. According to our gear, our gear data sheet, 5 thousandths low is permitted. If we wanted to make an adjustment to go less deep or to increase this number, all we have to do is come over here, loosen the brake, and bring the cutter, bring, actually bring the saddle down a little bit, maybe another thousandths or thousandths and a half, and that'll increase the 33 to 34, 35, which is still under 2.938, or three, yeah, 2.938, it'll be 2.935.